Being in my 30s, I can definitely tell that my metabolism has slowed down a lot because a lot of the foods that I used to be able to eat without really thinking about too much have definitely began to affect the way my body looks and feels. Along with slowed down metabolism, as we age, we experience muscle loss and hormonal changes, which also contribute to weight gain. So weight gain, body changes, and all that are very natural things that happen to us as we age. But if you're like me and want to maintain your weight or even lose some weight, I want to share with you some things that have helped me achieve this. So first off, when it comes to weight control, the most recent studies have found that it is determined a lot by blood sugar control. So to explain the science simply, when you eat things like carbs or sugar, your blood sugar spikes often to unhealthy levels, which then your body converts that spike into energy that is supposed to be used up quickly and burned. But a lot of times, instead of us using that energy, we sit back down to work on our computers or watch TV, or we get into our cars to go to our next location. And since that energy is not being used, our body gets the message that it needs to turn that energy into fat so that it can store it for a later time when it does need it. And in the past, when people had to go days without being able to eat, this was very helpful because days that they could not eat, their bodies were able to give them energy by using the fat it had stored the days before. Now that we know the general idea of how blood sugar works and how it is related to weight gain, here are six things that you could do to keep your glucose levels regulated. The first thing is to eat your carbs and sugars like desserts last. Studies have found that when you eat your veggies, proteins, and healthy fats first, your body gets the message that it needs to start regulating its blood sugar. So by the time you eat your carbs or sugar, you will get less of a spike. I don't do this all the time because if I'm going to have something like a burger, I'm not going to deconstruct that burger just to eat it. So something else that you can do is drink apple cider vinegar in diluted water before meals, and that will also help stabilize your blood sugar as well. Another thing that you can do is actually the second thing which is to just move as much as you can after every meal whether that is going on a 10 minute walk doing chores around the house or even just jumping jacks moving will help your body use and burn off that energy instead of storing it for another time I know that this can be really hard at times because when you eat carbs or sugar you usually get really tired and crashed but that drowsiness is a sign that your blood sugar has actually spiked so especially when that happens it's even more helpful to fight the urge to just rest and move instead. The third thing is to find alternatives to satisfy your sweet tooth and decrease your carb intake. Because sugars spike your blood sugar and carbs get processed in your body as sugar and then spikes your blood sugar, it's obviously very helpful to find alternatives to satisfy these cravings. For sugar alternatives, I like to use monk fruit, stevia, or just fruit because they spike your blood sugar a lot less. For carbs, I just eat a little bit less of it and I try to stick to healthier carb options and stay away from processed carbs as much as I can. The fourth thing is intermittent fasting. When you fast, you're not bringing in new energy by eating, so your body will naturally start to burn that fat that it has stored to help you extend the energy that you need to go about your day. For a woman, it's about 16 to 18 hours of fasting. So for example, I'll have a hearty dinner at 6 p.m. and I will fast until 9 p.m. or 10 p.m. the next morning. The fifth thing is to eat more healthy fats. Healthy fats include things like nuts, avocados, olive oil, eggs, and fish. Eating healthy fats help with glucose control because these foods help keep you fuller longer and gives you more energy for a longer period of time. This means you won't be snacking throughout the day, constantly spiking your blood sugar. I have not personally used this, but I know MCT oil is supposed to be very helpful and people put it in their black coffee to help keep them full throughout the day. The last thing is to build up your muscle mass by weightlifting. When you build muscle, your resting metabolic rate increases, which basically means you burn calories even at rest. Other than weightlifting, you should also try to take in more protein because that also helps build muscle. So there's actually a lot more other things that you could do to keep your blood sugar under control, but I just wanted to share the ones that I actually do because I think a lot of it has been very doable in my day-to-day -day life. This has really worked for me, and so if you have concerns about weight gain as you age or just weight in general, I would strongly recommend looking further into this yourself and finding ways you could keep your glucose spikes under control too. Anyways, I hope this was helpful to somebody and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.